In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a countdown timer, such as this one, in Google Sheets. This is a countdown timer I created for my students to show them how many school days it is until their first exam. I'll also show you how you can adapt this to show the total number of days rather than just weekdays. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is to select these two cells here, which will contain the dates that we're looking at. This will be the start date today. And in this cell, we'll have the finish date, the target date. So to make sure that the data is formatted correctly, I'm going to select be, uh, both of these two cells, go onto the format menu and choose number. And then from this drop down menu, I'm going to choose date. Now we see a preview on the right hand side here. And because I'm in the UK, uh, we display our dates correctly. Uh, so you'll see that it is the day, then the month, and then the year. Um, if you're unfortunate enough to have your computer set up for um, American or US uh, date formats, um, you can simply go to the file menu and down to spreadsheet settings. And then you'll see the locale is listed here. And uh, you can change that to the United Kingdom um, or anything else, perhaps if you wish to. Uh, I am, of course, only joking. Anyway, um, once I've set those two cells there to be date format, uh, the next thing is to put in today's date and the target date. Now, of course, there's no point putting in just today's date because that will mean that it'll only ever show the same number of days. Uh, so what we need to do is put in a more dynamic date format here that automatically updates as the date changes. So we can do that very simply with a formula, which is equals today and then open and close brackets. Press enter and we have today's date. And the great thing is that that will automatically update. Now it'll update when you change the spreadsheet and when you reopen the spreadsheet, uh, but it may not necessarily update if you don't change the spreadsheet and you simply leave it open. Uh, what you can do to make sure that it does automatically update as much as every minute if you want to, is to go back to the file menu and to that spreadsheet settings option and in the calculation tab, you can change the recalculation frequency. At the moment, this is set to on change, which means whenever a change is made to the spreadsheet, the date will automatically update. But you can also change that to on change and every minute or on change and every hour. If you set it to on change and every minute, then literally uh, this will update every 60 seconds, um, although the date's not going to change that frequently. And I doubt that most of you have students who sit there 24 hours a day or who are likely to be sitting in school at midnight, but the option's there. The second thing to do, of course, is the target date. Now, I'm going to put in a target date of the 15th of May uh, because I believe that's the date of the exam. So 15, 5, 18. And because I formatted this cell as date, it has formatted that uh, correctly. So we can see that as a date. And in column C, this is where I'm now going to put a formula which will calculate uh, for the first time the number of days between those two dates, not weekdays or work days or school days, but just the number of days. So we can do that by typing equals days and then open brackets. Now, Google Sheets does give us a lot of help here. So we can see that we have uh, end date highlighted in yellow here, followed by start date. So it wants the end date first. So what I need to do here is click on the end date, our target date there, then type a comma. And the little tool tip here shows us we now need the start date. So that's the start date here, that's today. Click on that cell and then close my brackets. 
So that shows 131 days from now until the 15th of May 2018. But what about if we just want to know the number of weekdays or work days or school days? How do we do that? Well, I'm going to show that formula in column D here. I'm going to type equals and the function word here is network days. So equals network days and then I'm going to open brackets. Now again, we have the little tooltip here, start date, end date. And you'll notice that for reasons best known to Google, the start date and end date are the opposite way round to the days formula. So with days, it wants the end date first and then the start date. With network days, it wants the start date and then the end date. I've no idea why, um, but it's best just to use that tooltip just to make sure. So here we want the start date, which is this cell here, then a comma, and then the end date. Now there is a third parameter here, which is marked down as holidays. Now, if you have a particular days off, bank holidays perhaps, you can actually have those listed somewhere else on the spreadsheet so that you don't include those. And then you can simply, as you see the example here, include that cell or those cells um, as days not to include. Uh, for this example, though, I'm not going to worry about adding any extra holidays in, so I'm simply going to put a zero and then close my brackets and that gives me 94 and the reason I think it's different from that is because I did put down the 14th of May and not the 15th. A um, little cool feature here with Google Sheets is if you have a cell formatted as a date and you double click on it you actually get a little pop-up date checker which is uh, quite useful for scrolling through and selecting. And I think actually the exam is on the 14th of May, so I'm going to change that date. And then, of course, we can see that this has updated to show me now that it's 93 school days until the exam. Now, once we have that uh, number there, it's quite easy to create that big display that we had uh, in the example earlier, like this. Uh, all I'm going to do is grab a whole bunch of cells there, and then I'm going to merge them by going to Format, Merge Cells, and Merge All. Uh, inside this cell, I'm going to put a formula. So I'm going to type equals. And I'm going to start off with some text. So I'll write only, and then a space. Then I'm going to close the speech marks to end the text. And now I'm going to concatenate, or add to that, the number that's displayed in cell D1. So I've clicked on that cell, so it's the word only a space, and then that number, and then some more text. So we'll put another ampersand symbol there, and then open up speech marks, type a space after that number, and then write school days until your exam. And then we'll close the speech marks and press enter. So there we are, only 93 school days until your exam. And then of course we can uh, do all sorts of things to make this look a little more interesting. Let's try increasing the font size. Now you'll see once I've increased the font size, we lose some of that text. Um, it doesn't automatically wrap in a merged cell. So with this cell selected, I'm going to go up to format and then down to text wrapping and then choose wrap. There we are. Uh, you might also find that the vertical alignment isn't uh, quite right. I set mine beforehand. Uh, but if you go to the format menu and choose a line, you can choose the horizontal alignment here and the vertical alignment here. So you may find yours is uh, defaulted to bottom, perhaps uh, like that. So I've just got to align and choose middle. There we are. Um, I'm also going to change the background. So I'm going to select the whole spreadsheet and I'm going to color the background black and then click on this merge cell and change the font color to white. There we go. Um, and that's it. I mean, you can put borders and images and so forth on there if you like, but that spreadsheet will now automatically update, as I've set it, every single minute. 
uh, and so that shows the uh, number of days live. You can keep this pinned open, so if you're using uh, Google Chrome, for example, you can right click at the top and pin that tab so that that tab will always be open and uh, you can simply have that up and scare your students. Or of course, you could have it uh, counting down until the end of term or until your holiday or until your birthday or until any other special day. Uh, just make sure that you don't leave it too many days until you hit that subscribe button at the bottom there. In fact, why not do that now while you remember? Hit that little subscribe button and click the bell to make sure that you get notified whenever new videos appear. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, hang on. You haven't clicked that subscribe button, have you yet? Come on, do it now. There you go. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments on this video, please do leave a comment below. I do try and reply to those as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you very much. Bye for now.